Hey everybody, my name is Michael McClintock and today I'd like to teach you all how to play Chan Chan. This song only uses four chords and those chords are D minor, F, G minor, and A. And now we can play those chords here, D minor, F, G minor, and A. And last but not least, we can play them up here. D minor, F, G minor, and A. And so the second thing we need to get comfortable with is the rhythm of this song. And it's, uh, it's repetitive and fairly easy, but it's you know, important that you keep an eye on it, right? So the first chord is going to be on the downbeat. The second chord is going to be on the offbeat. Third chord on the downbeat, fourth chord on the off, and it's just going to loop that concept. So uh, I think of it like this. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. On. So those are the two main pieces to the puzzle. But to make this song a little more interesting, we can add um, some kind of walk-ups, as I like to call them, like walking into the chords, right? And so uh, the first thing I typically do when I'm playing this song is this. Okay, and so the first thing I want to point out to you is notice the difference between D minor and F is only one note difference, right? I'm removing my ring finger. If I do it here, it's on the G string, right? And then here, it's going to be on the high E. Right? Just one note difference, right? So I'm always going to aim for that one different note when changing the chords. Uh, but before that, uh, the walk up I did was going to be fret two on the G, open G. Fret one on the E, and open E, and that brings us to D, or fret two on the C, right? It brings us right to that D minor chord. And that's going to be four E and a one, two, all right, off B. So then I do the exact same thing on the, the G minor chord, but just with two less notes. I think to myself, and a one, right? And that's just going to be open G, two on the G, going to three on the G, and then there's the off B, right? Four E and a on, off, on, off. So, you know, really making sure I have the on beats and the off beats really comfortable. In my, uh, in my blood, right? We don't want to mess that up. Um, another thing I like to do sometimes is, is, is as simple as this, right? You know, and a one. Right? So I'm just kind of thinking to myself, and a one, right? So we could do four E and a one, and a one, you know, we get four notes ahead, two notes ahead, three notes ahead. You know, I'm kind of leaving some, you know, vague space in here because at the end of the day, I want you to be creative. But yeah, another little thing would be and a one off the beat on off. We could do that same idea up here, right? All right. On off the beat. So I'm just getting really comfortable with on the beat 
and off the beat. And the final little lick I'd like to show you is going to be using a, a D minor scale. And that scale really quick is this. It's going to be fret 7 on the G, fret 4 on the C, fret 5 on the C, 7 on the C, 5 on the E, 6 on the E, and 8 on the E. So I'm just going to walk right up that scale. back to fret 5 on the E. 1 and, and uh, 2 E and, right? And so that's going to be on the beat, off the beat. 1 E and uh, 2 E and on the beat, G minor to A, right? So I'm just using that scale to fret 8 the first time and the second time up to fret 6, right? 1 E and a 2 E off on So I just wanted to give you a few ideas of how you can walk in to some different chords using Chan Chan. Um, I didn't want to give you uh, 20 different ideas because I think it's more beneficial to give you a few. Hopefully you get inspired and then maybe you kind of create some of your own ideas. And now if anybody would like me to go into some more detail uh, and some more depth about maybe how to play the D minor scale in some different positions, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to take some time and make a video about that. Or uh, send me an email. I've got my email in the uh, description below. And let me know if you want to do a private lesson. Um, I've had some really great luck and I've done a handful of different private lessons since I've started doing these YouTube videos again. And um, I've been enjoying them more than I ever thought I would. It's been extremely fun to teach different people from all over the country how to play the, uh, the guitar and, and the Cuban tres. So um, please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all. So again, my name is Michael McClintock, and if this uh, lesson's been helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, uh, give me a like, leave a comment in the comment section below, and subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out, and I appreciate it. So have a good day, and I hope you all enjoy learning how to play Chan Chan. <laughs>